Hi booktube, it's Andrea here. It's been a while since I've done a Friday Reads. As you're aware with everything that's been going on, it's been a little bit difficult to get on and make uh, some videos. So I thought I'd try this week. So this is for Friday the 11th of May. Yay, I'm actually doing one. I'm gonna tell you what I'm currently reading and what I'm hoping to get started over this weekend. So um, one of the books I'm currently reading is a small biography of Doris Day by Eric Braun. So obviously, um, I'm sure you all know that Doris Day is um, still alive. She's 96 this year, she was was a film actress and a singer in the, mostly in the 50s and 60s. She started in the, in the late 40s. And this is a brief overview of her life and career. It's brief. I would like a further and more in-depth book on her. I'm on about page 90 something, so I am getting through this. It's not gonna take me long to finish it. As long as I get the chance. Yeah, that's you I'm talking to over there, Jennifer. Um, so I, I've, it's not gonna take long. So I'm going to try and finish that one this weekend because um, I've been trying to read this book since January and it, the reason it, I haven't is it's just so big. Um, it's obviously, it's not one you can hold. Um, if you look at the, compare it to the size of the, the Doris Day book, it's it's absolutely huge. And this book is um, The Wonderful World of Albert Kahn by David Okifuna, colour photographed from Long Lost Age. And this is a BBC book. They're always really lavishly done. Um, and tells the story of Albert Kahn's um, photographic archive of the planet. And uh, in the early 1900s and during World War I, he sent photographers out around the world to various things to record um, the planet. Um, and they used a process which was called autochrome, um, which was a very early colour process that used potato starch as a colourant. Um, so in the days before Kodachrome and Kodakolor and all that, there was such a thing as autochrome and I'm again I'm about mm, just over a third of the way through this um I am trying to read it but it's something that's very difficult to read when you're holding a baby or you know stop every five minutes but I'm determined to get through that if not this weekend by the end of the month because I'm really enjoying it and I'm loving looking at the photographs and there's one other book that I'm going to try and at least start this weekend and it's a book that I pulled out of my TBR jar months ago. I'm going to try and get back to the TBR jar at the end of May, beginning of June. <laughs> and that's Sebastian Fox's bird song. I actually picked this up from a charity shop because um, Newport Playgoers were doing it and that was like last year. So they did it last year. I went to see it. I enjoyed it. It's, mm, I don't know whether I'm going to enjoy the book or not. The play was okay. Obviously it was very downbeat because of its subject matter, but I'm hoping that I might enjoy the book a bit more than I enjoyed the stage play. So sorry guys, I did enjoy it, but it was also a bit uh, never ending. Whereas with the book, I tend to lose myself in them. So those are the three books I am going to be reading this weekend. Definitely those two. I'm going to try and do this one. Um, as you know, I haven't done a TBR for May because it's very difficult for me. I've got loads of books on the go upstairs. Um, and just two other books I'm gonna try and get to this month are Nikki French's Waiting for Wednesday, which is a book series based on the days of the week, which I think is very odd because half the time the day doesn't actually come into it. And the fourth and last, I think it's the last one. Uh, yeah, um, in the Wani Lee uh, Cardiff Bay series of uh, DCI Phelps which is never dead so it's the last one in the series so as it stands I'll pop it on the shelf with all the other ones once I've read it so I'm going to try and get to those two but I, I don't know whether that'll be for a little while because obviously the bird song is quite a big book but I'm going to try and do those this month as well so that is my Friday reads what are you reading this weekend what are you reading right now I am slowly trying to catch up with all my booktube videos like I said I've got so many videos on the go because I subscribe to so many people I'm actually going through that now and trying to narrow that down a bit. I'm getting rid of some of the ones that I don't enjoy as much as others and keeping the ones I really, really love. That's it. Very quick Friday reads for you. Hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you all soon. Bye now.